Welcome back. I'm here with our La Liga correspondent Matt Lord to preview Saturday afternoon's Madrid derby between Atletico and Real. Uh, we're filming this on Wednesday before Real Madrid's game in hand against Sevilla tonight. So we'll start with their game at the weekend, which is a 4 1 win over Sociedad. Yeah, it was a good win. It was a, they went 1 0 down early on. It was, it, before they could breathe, they were 1 0 down. And obviously, they were out without Ronaldo, who was suspended for getting set up against Cordoba. So obviously, it was the big thing around that whether they could respond. And they did. It was comfortable in the end. They won 4 1. And Benzema got, helped himself to cut the goals, the second of which was an exceptional finish into the top corner. And I think players do come to the forefront when Ronaldo's not there. Obviously, he's their best player. He's the best player in the world. But when he's not there, I think, I mean, Bale got on a couple of free kicks and you can just see him expressing himself a little bit more. I'm not saying he doesn't he doesn't play well, Ronaldo, he does, but players come to the forefront. James Rodriguez move further forward and that's very important. You'll see, as it stands, they are one point clear of Barca, but if they beat Sevilla, they'll go four points clear on the same number of games. This is obviously rescheduled. They're in the Club World Cup, which it would have been back in December. So, it's been a good season, you know, they're sitting top. They've lost three times in the league, but won every other game. I've drawn a single game this season, which is, which is quite surprising for any league. But she's so sitting where they are at the moment. If they win this game for Letico and beat Sevilla, they've got 10 points good over Letico. And that's a lot, isn't it? Especially, it's a lot in any league, but in the league where Real Madrid and Barca don't tend to lose many games, that's going to be, that's a big, sort of a big gap to go into. And they've been scoring plenty of goals this season. Real Madrid, it's actually an incredible stat. They've, they've Letico haven't beaten Real Madrid at home since the 1998-99 season. So there's so many years of, dominating these games. I mean, obviously, they've had struggles at the Bernabeu lost this season to Atletico. That's been there in the cup competitions and stuff. Obviously, they clashed last season Champions League final as well. It's such a massive game. It used to be a game just for the capital, didn't it? It used to be for the fans. But now it's two teams who are at the top level of European football. And it's another game that just is a bit more spice. It's really good. Yeah, really meaningful, this rivalry these days, isn't it? But Atletico, they'll be confident themselves. Good 3-1 win over Eibar last week. Yeah, it was, it was a really good win. It was, it was a strange game. It was a bumpy old pitch. I mean, the weather was terrible. And down at Eibar, their stadium is probably the poorest in the league. The pitch was awful. It was almost like a Sunday league game. Honestly, the, it was cutting up. and But it was important. They raced into a 3-0 lead. And it was quite comfortable. Mandzukic helped himself. Got, got a brace as well. And he's been in good form this season. Griezmann's been in great form. And... It was important just to, to keep winning. I think they've, they've won five of the last six in the league. And you have to keep winning, but the fact that they've won five of the last six is still in third shows that I mean, Barca have been grateful. I think Barca won the last seven. Ravage, you know, I've just spoke about how good form they are in. And if Atletico are going to win the league this season, I personally can't see it, but it's, it's so difficult. Isn't it? They're going to have to win this game if they want to win the league because they can't fall 10 points behind. Obviously, if they get a draw, not the end of the world, but when they won at the Bernabeu last season, won at the Bernabeu this season, they know how to beat Real Madrid. They eliminated them in the Copa del Rey this season before losing to Barca. They know how to beat Real Madrid, but it's whether their players can just get up for the game enough to, to, to beat them rather than not get beat, which is too important as well. It's a huge game at the Calderon. What's your yeah. score prediction? It's difficult. I mean, I say Real Madrid not drawing a league game this season, but I think this might be their first draw. I mean, it's, it's one of those games, like I said, for the fans, it's going to be important. It's a, it'll be a four o'clock kickoff afternoon on the Saturday Spanish team. Spanish time, sorry, three o'clock English time. So it's going to be obviously, it's going to be a good weather, good sort of atmosphere in the stadium, and it's so important. But I can't can see it being a, being a draw. I mean, it's, it's neither team will want to lose the game, but obviously a draw will be a better result for, for Real Madrid probably because if Let's Go win, they'll be right on their towels again. So I'm going to back a two-two draw. Okay, so Matt can't pick a winner. Sports more going for a two-two draw. 